And now we turn to uh, one of our subcommittee chairs, Mr. Rohrbacher of California. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Madam Chairman, and I appreciate uh, the leadership that you and uh, Chairman Royce have uh, exemplified, uh, especially by this hearing. I, I have some deep concerns about what I've heard today, and it doesn't necessarily come from you, but it comes from the fact that I am also Vice Chairman of the Science Committee, and I've spent a lot of time dealing with nuclear reactors and the, the technological aspect of this discussion. Uh, Mr. Lippman, we're rushing to 172 reactors, we say, are perhaps on the way to being built. Um, are any of them uh, non-light water reactors? Light water reactors are 50 and 60-year-old technology, and they are dangerous, as we've seen in Japan. Do we not now have the capability to build safe reactors, whether they're, I guess, uh, thorium-based, they've got small modular nuclear reactors, pebble-based reactors, high-temperature gas cool reactors, all of which do not have this same potential of creating a, a disaster? Am I, uh, am I wrong? Is this other information I'm getting in the Science Committee that we're being fed that we're capable of building a better reactor that's not such a danger? Uh, Chairman, I certainly don't share your, your, your view on that. First, uh, almost all the plants that are planned for construction indeed are light water reactors. Right. The other technologies that you accurately represented are technologies that simply aren't commercially available today. They are to be available today because your industry is not invested in it. You're, they're in, we, have had, we have had a disaster in Japan, and how much more has your industry then decided to put into development of some of these alternatives that we have that would have made, that had Japan had those technologies, they wouldn't be facing this radioactive crisis that they're in. So with respect, Chairman, it, yes, is our, it is our industry that is investing in these new technologies. Um, B&W and New Scale and Westinghouse are developing small modular reactors. TerraPower on the, uh, in, in Seattle is investing in the traveling wave reactor, which I right. think you're, you're referring and to. By the so, way, we're not so those technologies, sir, are, are in the offing. And with respect to the Fukushima accident, which you, you appropriately represent, one need only look at the reactors for sale on the international market from American vendors right now, GE and Westinghouse, they're designed for exactly that type of accident. Well, let me just note that uh, for, for less than $2 billion investment, we could have uh, one of those other type of reactors on the market. We could have invested it. Had we invested in that 20 years ago or 15 years ago when these reactors were possible. And had we had a pebble-based reactor system in Japan, there wouldn't be a nuclear re uh, crisis there right now. I mean, I realize that people think that, they, that our industry, and our industry has done, I am not anti-nuclear, as you can see. I mean, I, I want us to build nuclear reactors. But we have not kept up. The industry has basically been willing to sell old technology rather than invest than in what is necessary to build these things. Uh, for example, uh, uh, we have high temperature gas cool reactors that it would be impossible then for there to be uh, the type of leak that we have in Japan under the same circumstances. Uh, this is uh, very disturbing. And, and also, let me ask this, Mr. Lippmann, uh, and, and again, I'm, I'm pro-nuclear reactor. I, I think that nuclear uh, energy offers a great alternative. But aren't we also talking about these new reactors? Had we invested in them? This idea of reprocessing wouldn't even be on the table. Uh, it's my understanding that there's not plutonium left over from these new reactors. We haven't invested in something that would be safer and would not leave a plutonium threat of having nuclear weapons uh, being made from the byproduct. Uh, I, I will just have to say that as much as I respect the, 
the development of the technology in your industry. I think that your industry has been, along with our government, uh, been irresponsible in not putting the money into the development of safer reactors that would leave the world safer from nuclear uh, uh, weapons as well as nuclear leaks. Thank you so much, Mr. Rohrbacher.